Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Keeping it business casual with this modern turtleneck. It's sleek, clean, and perfect for beginners because it uses just a few stitches. This one took me a few days in between other things, so if you're committed, you can get it done in no time. Speaking of, it takes no time to support this channel. All you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment so YouTube knows you like what you see. And if you're really feeling helpful, consider subscribing. It's the best way to know when something new is posted, and I'll be eternally grateful. Now it's time to get on with the show, so without further ado, for this project, any category of 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 120 grams of yarn, and that's 150 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern away by telling us your favorite type of tea. Right now, I'd say free, but I plan on dipping my toe into more herbal teas. Any suggestions? Details for the giveaway down below. Using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook, and we're all going to start by making a chain that reaches from mid underarm down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. And I want mine to be just about 12 inches or 30 centimeters, so I'm going to start by making a chain of 45. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain two. Now that doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And now from here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. And then we're going to half double crochet into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook. So go ahead and insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through that loop. Should have three loops on our hook. So from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. That is our first half double crochet. Let's do another one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three of those loops. Continue to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one so that we can do an increase of three together. We've just put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one, and now we're going to do an increase of three half double crochets into that last chain. So all together we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that last chain with one half double crochet, and then we have two more left to do into that same last chain. So yarn over, into that last chain with our second half double crochet, yarn over, and then into that same last chain with our third half double crochet. So all together we should have one, two, three into that last chain. Now from here, we're going to be doing a back loop slip stitch row, but we do need to increase into that as well. So we're going to start with a chain two. Our first chain is going to count as a stitch. And then our second chain is going to count as our turning chain. Now that we have our two chains, we're going to flip our work. Skip the first chain, then insert into that second chain's back loop with a slip stitch. So we're going to skip this one into that next chain insert into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Then from here, all we're going to do is yarn over, pull through both of the loops that's on our hook. Let's do that again. This is going to be our next stitch. So insert your hook into that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Let's do just one more. Into that next stitch's back loop, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to do this, making our way all the way down. We've made our way all the way down with our row number two, or our first back loop slip stitch row. And to get started with our row number three, this is going to be another half double crochet row. 
but from here on out, they're all going to be within the back loops. So we're going to start with a chain two. That's our turning chain, not a stitch. And we're going to flip our work. We're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into that first available stitches back loop. So go ahead and insert your hook into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Yarn over, pull through that one. Yarn over, pull through that three. And continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have just one left because we're going to increase again. All right, we've made our way all the way down with our third row or our back loop half double crochet row. We left one stitch and we're just going to increase with each other one more time. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop with one half double crochet. And then two more into that same back loop. Yarn over with my second half double crochet. And then once more. And now we should all have a total of three back loop half double crochets into that last stitch. Since we're here, we might as well get started on the next row with each other, which is our back loop slip stitch row with an increase. So just like before, we're going to chain two, flip our work. And we're going to insert our hook into that second chain from our hooks back loop. So we're going to skip one, insert your hook into that next chain's back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. And continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And from here on out, it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows. So our back loop half double crochet row with an increase of three at the end, and then our slip stitch row with an increase as well, until this can reach from mid underarm to the middle of our body, making sure that the point reaches the base of our neck. I'll meet you guys back right after a half double crochet row, and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so I am back with the first half of my piece. I have a total of 19 rows, and my width is just about four and a half inches or 11 centimeters, and that is unstretched. We should have all ended on a half double crochet row, we do have one middle row, which is going to be a slip stitch row with no increases and no decreases. So all we're going to do from here is just do a chain one, flip our work, and then make our way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. This is our middle row. After this row is finished, we're going to do a chain two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three stitches that we have so that we can do a decrease of three half double crochets so that we can finish up the other half of our panel. All right, so we have just finished up our middle row and we have also made our way all the way back up with our back loop half double crochets and we have left the last three stitches. From here, we're gonna be doing a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So let's start. Do a yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through into that second to last back loop, pull through, and then into that last back loop, yarn over, and pull through. We should now have a total of one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So yarn over, and pull through all five. And that's how I do our decrease of three back loop half double crochets. And because we want this slant to be the same as this one over here, we're going to need to do a decrease into our slip stitch row as well. So from here, just chain one, and flip our work. To do our decrease of two back loop slip stitches, we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, and then also insert your hook into that next back loop. From here, we should have three loops on our hook, and all we're going to do is yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So there's one, there's my second, and then there's my third. That is how we do our decrease of two back loop slip stitches, and then from here, just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Let's do these decreases just one more time. So at the end of this row, do a chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three. All right, so we have made our back loop half double crochets all the way up, leaving the last three, and we're just gonna do our decreases with each other one more time. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through, second to last back loop, pull through, and then last back loop, pull through. You should all have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through all five of those loops. 
Now let's just do our decrease of two back loop slip stitches as well. So do a chain one and flip our work. Insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, into that next stitches back loop, yarn over, and then we're going to pull through all three of those loops. And that is it. From here, we're going to keep repeating these two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our increase portion. Do a chain up a one and cut, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up the entirety of one of our panels. And what we're going to do from here is make another one that is exactly the same. And then once we have both of these all finished up, we can now seam the sides. All right, so now that we have both of our panels all finished up, seam our sides, we're gonna make sure that our work is flipped right side out. Meaning that the ribbing that we have for the front panel is faced up towards us. And then the ribbing that we have for the back panel is faced down or away from us. And now we're gonna do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So all we're gonna do is insert our hook into the back panel's corner loop. We're going to take our yarn, yarn over, pull through everything to secure the two panels together. And from here, do a chain up of one to secure. And to do our outside loop slip stitch seam, we're going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitch's front loop, or the loop that's closest to us, into the front panel. And then working into the back panel, we're gonna find that next available stitch, and then make sure that we're working only in through that back loop. Once we've done that, we should have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Let's do that again. Into the next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook only in through that front loop. And then into the next stitch into the back panel, only insert in through that back loop. And from here, yarn over and pull through all three. We're doing this so that this looks like an extra slip stitch row. So once we make our way all the way down, we are going to do a chain up of one and cut. Once we have that, go ahead and do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. All right, so now that both of our panels are seamed together, we can now get started on the underarm portion. So the first thing we're gonna do is slip our work right side out, meaning that the ribbing is faced outwards. And then we're gonna be inserting our hook into the top row that we have right here, which is our middle slip stitch row that we had when we did our front and back panel. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and from here, I'm just going to do a chain up of one to secure. Now we're gonna be working down towards our side seam and then back up towards the point on the other panel. And we're gonna be putting two single crochets into every side half double and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. So let's get that started. We're gonna start by inserting a hook into this first side row. My first side row is a side half double crochet. So I'm going to find that top loop and insert with one single crochet and then into that same top loop with my second single crochet. I should have one, two single crochets now. My next side row is a side slip stitch row. We're gonna find that top loop and put just one single crochet into there. So we're gonna have to find a top loop, insert your hook with just one single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down to the other point. So let's just do one more set together. This is my next side row, which is a side half double. Go ahead and insert your hook with one single crochet. And then since this is the side half double, we're going to do one more into that same top loop with our second single crochet. And next is our side slip stitch. So find that top loop. Insert your hook with just one. And we are going to keep doing this, making our way all the way around. And then I'll meet you guys back once we reach this corner point up here. All right, we have just single crocheted our way all the way up to this top point that we have right here. And now we're going to start working on our slip stitch underarm detail. So what we're going to do is make a chain the height that we want this to be, keeping in mind that this does need to fit underneath your underarm as well. So don't make it too long but I'm gonna start off by making a chain of eight and that's just about two inches or five centimeters. All right, now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into that chain. We're gonna yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. 
that is our first slip stitch. Let's do this again. Into that next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to put one slip stitch to every chain. Now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, what we're going to do from here is slip our work. Now I now need to start working into the base, which is the single crochet row that we just made. So we're going to need to slip stitch it into that next available stitch. So into that stitch, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything. And now our first row is nice and secure. Now we do need to work our way up to the next row, which that's going to be just one slip stitch up the next stitch into the base as well. So insert, yarn over, pull through everything, and flip your work. And from here on out, they're all going to be back loop slip stitches, so let's get that started. We're going to insert our hook into that first available stitches back loop, should have two loops, yarn over, and pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch with no increases and no decreases, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. All right, so our row number two is all finished, and just to get started on our row number three, that's going to be a repeat. So just chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and connect it into the base the same way that we just did. And I will meet you guys back once we have made our way all the way down to our last single crochet over here to a chain of a one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back just to remind you guys how we're going to do the other side. All right, we have just made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows for our underarm portion. And we're actually going to repeat every single thing that we did here on the other side. So just as a refresher, we're gonna be inserting our hook into the last stitch that we have from our middle row when it comes to our panel. We're going to single crochet around and do our back loop slip stitch rows, making our way all the way back up, making sure that everything is the same and we have the same amount of numbers. And then once we have the second one all finished up, don't do a chain up of one and cut because then we can work straight into the mock neck from there. All right, now that we have finished up both of our underarm portions, we are now going to make a chain that can reach up and over our shoulder to reach the back corner. And we do want to make sure that this chain can reach around our head as well. So I have already measured mine out and I'm going to make a chain of 23 and that is just about six inches or 15 centimeters. And once we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is flip our work. And we're going to single crochet it into the corner stitch of the back. So insert with a single crochet. And all we're going to do from here is put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way across. Once we reach this corner, we are going to make the same chain that we made over here. Single crochet into this corner and then single crochet all the way across and slip stitch into that chain space and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so now that we have just connected our front and back panel, what we're gonna do from here is a single crochet row. So right after slip stitch, we're going to do a chain one. And then we're gonna be putting one single crochet into every single crochet and chain that we have. So let's start by inserting our hook into that first chain because I'm going in the same direction with one single crochet, and then into that next chain, go ahead and insert your hook with your next single crochet. Go ahead and just keep doing this, making our way all the way around, slip stitch into that chain one space that we made, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can work on the height of our mock neck. All right, so we have just made our way all the way around with our single crochet row, and now we're going to work on the height of our mock neck. Now I want mine to be just about two and a half inches or six centimeters, so from where I'm at, right after my slip stitch, I'm going to make a chain of 10. And our mock neck is going to be worked the same way that we did our underarm portion. So just as a really quick refresher, we're going to block off our last chain and do a chain of one. Into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with our first slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops, and then continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. All right, so we have just put one slip stitch into every chain. To close off our row number one, we're gonna find that first available stitch, slip stitch into there, and now our row number one is connected into the base, and just to work our way up to our next row, slip stitch into the next stitch, flip our work, 
and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're going to keep making our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch row, making sure that we're connecting it into the base the same way that we just did until we don't have any more stitches left. And then I will meet you guys back so that we can seam everything together. All right, so we are back and we have just made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitches. And now, since we don't have any more stitches left, we need to seam everything together. So we're all going to start by making sure that our work is slipped right side out and we're going to do another outside loop slip stitch seam just like how we did the sides. So to get this started, we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch into the front panel and then also into that next stitch into the back panel, making sure we're only working into the outside loops. And then once when our hook is in through both of those, we are going to yarn over and pull through with a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. Let's do this again. Into the next stitch, into the front panel, only insert your hook in through that front loop. And then into the next stitch, into the back panel, only insert through that back loop. Should have three loops on our hook now, so yarn over and pull through all three. And we're going to continue to do this until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up of one and cut. All right, and now that we have finished up seaming our mock neck, we are all done. And the last thing we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, guys. We are all done, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll catch y'all the next one. Bye.